Quick little ride from my house to downtown Calgary. Just to check in to see how my friend Tony's doing. He's got a little uh, booth activity set up down on the, the pedestrian zone, so let's go check it out. Welcome. <laughs> I knew I'd find him along here somewhere. <laughs> the ping pong table is a dead giveaway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's see, brother. Let's yeah. See. Four people can play. What's that? Yeah, sure. This is Melvin. Melvin, this is Trent. Um, nice to meet you, Melvin. A very good friend of mine. Whoa, that's a small table. That was so good too. Just, uh, <laughs> yeah, oh, I, I All right. Think, I think nice meeting you, Melvin. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Thanks, Melvin. Appreciate it, man. Yeah. Really appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you so nice much. Nice to meet you, sir. All right. Hopefully, we're running to you guys some other time too. Yeah. yeah. So tell me, explain this, Tony. What's going on here? <laughs> What's going on here? So uh, this is my uh, my Talk to More People exhibit as part of Empathy Week. Empathy Week. Yeah. Empathy Week, which is put on by an organization called Humanology that has the intention of creating a bunch of uh, interactive art exhibits and, uh, and media pieces around the human connection. Ah! So I was very, uh, very privileged to be asked to do an exhibit around my Talk to More People concept where I pretty much just encourage people to get off their, off their devices and engage in face-to-face -face conversations. Like, like this device here? <laughs> like that device right there. <laughs> because I found that engaging in such conversations can, uh, can lead to some pretty amazing opportunities. Well, you've been doing this for like, you had a project for 365 days where you did this, right? This is correct, yes. <laughs> yeah. What's the website for that? TalkToMorePeople.com. Cool. Yeah. And that's all about ditching the phones, interacting person to person. Absolutely. I mean, one of the greatest things I found from this exhibit this week was yesterday, a couple of guys who'd never met before were playing ping pong. And uh, the one gentleman's a local businessman, the other fellow is a guy in his early 30s looking for work. And they had this conversation, I overheard this conversation, and um, before they parted ways, he's like, oh, you know, I might have a, a lead for you or a contact for you. So they exchanged email addresses, and it may lead to a job or it may not, but what was so exciting for me to observe this is that that, that new connection and that possibility was created through a chance encounter. And that's the whole point of the Talk to More People project, is to explore those chance encounters and see what's possible. Awesome. Mm -hmm. This is what you discover in downtown Calgary yeah, it's on a sunny, sunny. Well, I guess it's summer now. Sunny summer day. And the irony is, this is actually how Trent and I met years ago. Was actually <laughs> around a miniature ping pong table That's at a facilitation right. event, and we become good buddies and collaborated together and worked yeah. together. And yeah, <laughs> fantastic, cool. All right. Cheers, Trent. All right. So uh, on this uh, talk to more people table here, where we were playing ping pong, I met Cody Wolfleg here. And, and from your jacket there, I can tell you're. Are you Siksika? Yep. Yeah. So he's from the nation just south west of Calgary. East. Oh, east. Oh, 70 miles Someone east. Yes, you're with the Blood Nation. I got you on social yep. media. Ah, yes, I know where that is. And so uh, Cody does some amazing artwork here, and he was just sitting here showing it to me. It's all pen and ink, hand drawn, and I don't know, just sort of show him a couple of these, Cody. There you go. That's, that's, you said that was your favorite, right? My favorite, yeah. Wow, Buffalo. This one took me three days to do that up. Holy mackerel. The day that will never come. The day that will never come. And which, which day is that? You decide. <laughs> okay. Our dreams are better than our reality. Okay. 
And whether or not we have anything that we're <laughs> dwelling about, the sun will always shine and everybody will be happy and they will prosper. That is cool. I like that. Awesome. Thank you, Cody. Yeah, you bet. The great people you meet out on the street here. So Gordy made me a nice, uh, what would you call this? Curry cat man, dude. Curry cat. It's, uh, it's, no word can describe it. <laughs> I can't even explain it to you. <laughs> so what, I mean, what would you call it? Sausage on a bun? Yeah, a gourmet sausage uh, from the, uh, from the high altitudes of Kathmandu. So Gordy makes all these things himself on top of it, which is pretty cool. Let's see how it tastes. And I'm always scared to look at high altitude. Mmm, delicious as usual. <laughs>